ends and Chicago's very own Mary D. The local television icon died today at the age of 85. For more than 40 years, Mary D was in the public eye, much of it right here at WGN TV. I, as well as others here, had the privilege of working alongside this broadcasting pioneer. Her last role here at WGN was as the director of community relations. During that time, she served as the station's liaison to communities where she attended thousands of events a year, raising over $30 million for WGN TV children's charities and leaving an indelible mark on hearts across Chicagoland. Mary Dee was born in Chicago, the youngest of six children. Her mother died suddenly when she was just two years old. My father remarried, married the Wicked Witch of the West. She says she escaped her stepmother's regular beatings and voodoo practices at age 12. She um, gave me a bus ticket one way back to Chicago. For a while, um, I hesitate to say homeless, but yes. She married briefly, had a daughter, Toya, went to work, and then back to school. Soon after, she fell in love with the broadcast biz. First radio. Mary D. the Honey Bee. <laughs> Mary D. the Honey Bee, the Queen Bee. She knew all about music, knew about jazz. In 1971, everything changed for the single mother with a standout smile. Mary was kidnapped as she was leaving a television studio one night. Her attacker wanted her money. Instead, he drove her and her TV guests that night to the south side, then pulled out a gun. I saw the silver gun in the car. The first thing I heard was one shot that hit the television guest. The second shot hit me. The third one went to him, and the fourth one hit me, both in the head. Mary D. was shot in the head twice, yet survived. Here's Mary in the hospital just two weeks later, talking to reporters about the harrowing experience. The gunman went to prison, but was later paroled. After he was released, she started getting... Her story so compelling, it became the subject of a 60 Minutes piece years later. From that day forward, victims' rights became Mary D's cause. Her break into broadcasting came at WBEE, where she was spinning records and interviewing rising stars. Then TV. This is WGN Television 9, Chicago. After 15 years in radio, we wound up here together. And she was already well known back in the days of radio. So when she did the transition and went over to TV, it made her even bigger. One of the first people I saw when I walked in the door at WGN was Mary D. She walked up and said, well, hello, how are you? Came up and gave me a big hug and said, welcome to WGN. When I came here, and of course, I was sort of starstruck when I saw Mary D. Mary has always struck me as being ever present here. I was in school with her daughter, uh, middle school. So I met her way before she came to WGN News. But when I came to WGN, I immediately went to her office because I knew that was a friendly face. She was just my sounding board. She was the person to talk to. I often refer to her as my second mother. WGN and Mary D just go together. Mr. Lou Rawls and can count celebrities like Quincy Jones among her close personal friends. But it's those you've never heard of she helps the most. The number of people uh, that she's helped over the course of her career, and I know she's fostered the careers of many, many, many young people uh, among her many other <laughs> achievements, um, has been just astounding. Unfortunately, I had a daughter who passed. Mary was there at the funeral, at the wake, and just to see Mary D standing there was just, uh, you know, it just, it, it's nothing to describe. We're on the air. Oh, hi, I'm Mary D. She's helped raise millions for the United Negro College Fund. She spoke out on issues, being one of the first black women on television in Chicago in a position where she could speak to people on different topics. Mary was uh, very outspoken. The great thing about the way Mary worked with the community was that she always spoke. She became so popular because she was so good. And she spoke almost weekly in churches, large and small, all over. Mary was at all of the parades. When it was time for Buck Billigan, you know, she was WGN's representative. Mary was known for this big, bright smile. And I never saw her grouchy or grumpy or discontent. Her book is a look at one victim who won't allow herself to be seen as one. Her suffering, a platform from which to teach others, she says. Mary D, life lessons on faith, 
forgiveness and grace. It's a tool full of truths about beating the odds and seeing, actually feeling the good around you. Every day, I, somebody says, well, how are you doing? I say, I'm nearly perfect. I'm getting there. <laughs> this is the statement that our family released this afternoon. With great sadness, our family announces the loss of our beloved matriarch, the brightest light in our lives, Mary D., who died peacefully in her sleep at home. Mayor Lori Lightfoot honored Mary D. just last week on International Women's Day, releasing this statement today after learning of her death. Amy and I are deeply saddened to learn of Mary D.'s passing. Mrs. D. was a homegrown broadcasting legend whose time as an anchor and radio and talk show host made her a beloved local celebrity. Mrs. D. has truly made a positive and indelible mark in our city and inspired countless others to follow in her footsteps. We offer our deepest condolences to her loved ones during this difficult time. And Mary D. wasn't just a colleague of mine, she was a close personal friend. I've known her since I was in elementary school. She was the epitome of style, grace, and pure class. She was a pioneer in the field of journalism. It is because of Mary D. and people like her that black women have been given a chance to sit at desks like this one. And because of her, that we have the confidence to stand up for ourselves and be counted. Mary D. was a force to be reckoned with. She was as close as it gets to breaking that glass ceiling. She will forever remain in my heart and in my fondest memories. To learn more about her life and any arrangements that are being made to honor her life, please visit our website, WGNTV.com, for a link. Mary D. was 85 years old.